Hello and welcome to In My Shipping Container, episode one. This week, Costa Rica. This is our shipping container of Costa Rican coffee that's just arrived in the UK. We're very excited. You can see there's a big empty space behind me because we've already emptied most of it. Gary and Martin have been doing the hard work there and piling the bags up. And the last of this coffee coming off is from Licho. It's natural Viasachi from the farm, and we're really excited for this one. So we're gonna take this coffee inside, we're gonna roast it, we're gonna send it to you, and we're gonna taste it. This is our Costa Rican container fully unloaded now. We've got lots of amazing coffee to come back. We have the geisha here from our bar. This is the Bourbon from Leech Show, so the other varietal, the Bourbon's natural. We've got the Manantiel from our bar. Just over here, we have got Costa Rica Leech Show Yellow Honey Viasarchi. Such a wonderful returning favourite we've seen so many times. Well, I'm excited to taste these. And we're back, and Dale's brewed the coffee for us, the Licho Viasachi Natural. How did you brew it? So I've done a Kalita Wave. We've done 30 grams of coffee, 500 mils of water, a nice three and a half minute brew time. Okay, so. so this is a natural processed coffee from Costa Rica. So flavor wise, what would you expect? All right, so haven't tasted it this year. My expectations would be sugar lead, maybe honey, syrup kind of flavor, and then little bits of fruit. So little bits of tropical fruit, apple, grapes, that kind of thing. When you have the natural, I think that's going to push that sweetness even higher. Yeah. It will have a little more body than your typical Costa Rican, but it won't be heavy. I'm hoping for some nice red fruits, um, not quite that kind of bubblegum stewed strawberry, but more that kind of rich and ripe like plums, that kind of thing. I'd expect exactly the same kind of thing we've seen. We have the, the Bourbon and the Viasachi from Leech now for a few years, and they're really good. They really control it, and they get those big, funky natural flavors, but in a really elegant and clean way. And I think, I think that's what we're gonna get. And just on the nose, I think there's a little bit of kind of that baking chocolate aroma to it, which is nice. A little bit. The thing that hits me, mm -hmm. exactly like you said, I'm really typical of Costa Rica. So sweet. For me, it kind of much, moves much more away from just like kind of the white sugar of a honey process. It's much more jammy. Jam is fruit and sugar, mm. my favorite. Plums. Plum jam, ripe plum, bruised plum, all the plums. There's a little bit of dried fruit there as well. Mm. Uh, kind of sultana -y. Um Not boozy, it's very clean. So much of it is in those aromatics. And as it cools down a little bit, and the sweetness comes forward a little bit, I think we're gonna get a little bit of booze starting to, yeah. to sneak forwards there as this cools down a little bit, but we will see. It's really hard sometimes to predict how the coffee will change a little bit as it cools down. But one of the nice things about drinking it from heart is you do find great coffee is good at all those points. So you get the first taste when it's, the temperature is muting some of the flavors, but it's still clean and it's still sweet. And then that acidity is gonna to come to the fore and it's gonna balance with some of that sweetness. Very refreshing and nice, but I, I, I do feel like that starts to cool, that's changing. Even now yeah. I can and see- And I'm, I'm getting a hint of, hint of booze, I'd say rum, mm -hmm. like a nice kind of aged rum, a little bit of like that dark kind of brown sugar flavor. On the aftertaste, I think particularly, it kind of leaves that, that kind of darker, darker booze kind of flavor for me, just that lingering there on the aftertaste. The washed Villasachi, sorry, not the washed, the yellow honey Villasachi, normally when it comes in, we get a little bit of raspberry and a little bit of milk chocolate. I'm getting a little bit of that raspberry edge still as well. Mm. I would say it's an excellent brew. I did a fun it's job. a very good yeah. job. Those, those three and a half minutes were just right. Well, I hope you enjoy this as much as we are clearly enjoying this. Please let us know. And please join us next week.